music box opened August 22nd of 1929. Originally, when we were built, uh, we were built to be a talkie cinema. And then it wasn't until 1981 where a couple of do-gooders who loved cinema came in and created what music box is known for now, which is a mix of independent, foreign, theatrical, and then repertory, cult classics, that kind of stuff. In terms of this neighborhood, I really um, enjoy the sort of camaraderie that you have with the local community and the businesses. The Music Box kind of was their place. Uh, it kind of defined the Southport Corridor that we're in right now. Really, when the Southport Corridor kind of fell on hard times, the Music Box kind of came back into this sort of rebirth. I think it kind of got people excited about the Southport Corridor again. The Music Box has definitely helped add culture and excitement and a neighborhood feel to, to what we have here. The York Theater was built in 1924. It was an integral part of the town. It was designed in the Spanish style. Today, we're at 10 screens. You know, obviously, one thing a movie theater does is bring people, and merchants need people, so the rest of the downtown fed off of the people that attended the, uh, the York. We have over 40 food establishments, from a fast casual to white tablecloth, downtown Elmhurst. It's current in what it has to offer. Very nice retailers, shopping. It's friendly, tremendous school system. It's very easy to commute because we have a Metra. We have a, an orchestra. We have our historic museum. Uh, we have the Lazadro Museum of Lapidary Arts. We have the Elmhurst Art Museum. A lot of amenities that are more than the average community our size uh, would have. Patio Theater started construction in 1926 and opened in January 1927. Five, six years ago, Portage Theater Group took it over and currently we're doing only special events. Recently we just had the Chicago Horror Film Festival. We've had, I want to say, over a dozen independent movie premieres in the last two years. When the Portage Theater Group bought Patio and Portage, we split it off. We said Patio will be movies because it has a great screen. Portage will be for concerts, neighborhood uh, performances, things like that. Most um, active businesses are City News and Six Corners. Um, they're a coffee shop and one of the oldest newsstands in Chicago. Percolator, which is right up the street here at Irving and Austin. Sputnik, used records, they're kind of combined. Portage Park, it's a place that's, that's ready to, to bloom. I think you would want to move to Portage Park because you're kind of surrounded by these strong local businesses that really give you a diverse variety of options and things to do. Yeah.